Hey doers, it's me again. I'm back. This is not the same shirt. It looks the same. That's because I got a lot of, I'm a doer. Polo shirts, t-shirts. These were t-shirts, I just cut the sleeves off of them. Anyway, this segment is going to be on what is the most important meal of the day? And it's windy, so there's probably gonna be a little bit of wind noise. I'll get a little bit closer here, a little bit of wind noise. But um, the good thing about the wind, <laughs> it cools you off. And uh, not any mosquitoes today. Yesterday, a lot of mosquitoes and flies just uh, trying to get in on the action here. Anyway, the most important meal of the day is right after you exercise. I mean, immediately. Knowing that you've kicked your metabolism in with exercise and your body's already burning calories, eat right after you work out because your body is still in a calorie burning mode. Again, if you wait, some people say like 30 minutes, certainly after an hour, vroom, everything has settled back down to normalcy. Hey everybody, man, what a great day today. It's, uh, it's windy today, which is good, so I'm not getting bugged by the bugs. <laughs> Those little flying creatures that were uh, bugging me yesterday. So um, this uh, little mini seminar here is on what's the most important meal of the day. And um, uh, I would have to obviously agree with a lot of people when they say breakfast, because that's the longest period of time that you've been on a fast. Let's say, for instance, you go to bed at midnight, you wake up at seven or eight in the morning. That's seven or eight hours that you haven't eaten or putting anything in your stomach. And eating actually propels your, your metabolism. So the most important meal of the day for me, and what I suggest to everybody, all the doers, is your first meal right after you, you exercise. And I mean, right after you exercise. So I talked about a pre in a previous segment, uh, self-metabolic tests where you weigh yourself at night and then you weigh yourself again in the morning and measure the difference between the two. Like for me, I go to bed usually weighing these days, 171, 172, and I dropped three pounds overnight, three pounds. I haven't done anything. It's an amazing process knowing that you're dropping weight as you're sleeping, which is what? It's post-workout. So burn the calories while you work out and learn how to burn the calories after you work out. <clears throat> Learning how to burn the calories after you work out is really important. A lot of people don't eat after they exercise or they wait a long period of time and it's really a mistake. And the reason why it's a mistake because the body shuts down after 30 minutes, certainly after an hour, it shuts down. So now the fuels that you bring in, it's just not using it in the way that it would use it right after you work out, right after you work out, your respiration is still high. Your body temperature is still high. Your circulation is still flowing at an accelerated rate. So put the nutrition in your body because it circulates faster. It'll help, again, your metabolism to use stored energy, i.e. body fat, in, in the reparation process. And again, you will wake up every morning lighter, more energetic, and stronger than the day before. I'm John Abdo. Uh, time to get back and hit these rocks. I'll see you next time.